Hello everybody and welcome to yet another edition of the Springfield Hoop where tonight we're at Rebecca M. Johnson Middle School where Renaissance is about to take on Palmer High School, the Renaissance Phoenix and the Palmer High Panthers. I'm Nick O'Doyle joined, joined by Chris Stone on a very limited basis tonight. Uh, you know. Well, you know, we are a little cramped, but you know what? Hey, it's a good way to start the season, I guess. Uh, at least we're comfortable and it's warm inside. I can't complain too much. So here we go. Uh, the Re Renaissance is in white. Palmer is in black and dark blue. And we're just about to get set for tip-off here at Rebecca M. Johnson Middle School. It's a nice small gymnasium. Uh, and here we go. We're just about set. Season about to start for Palmer. They're, they're just their season over tonight. And for Renaissance, they're 1-0, and they win the tip to start this game. Number 25 has it for Renaissance. He doubles down and he misses the lamp. Rebounded by number 22. 22, that's Arvin Gordon. He's 6'4", he's their forward, he's a junior. So Arvin Gordon with the first points of the ball game. As uh, Palmer goes down the other end and uh, draws the foul. Palmer responds uh, quickly. Uh, but they will go to the free throw line here. Yeah, foul call on number 25, Jalen Bruce. That's his first personal, first team foul. We'd like to thank our uh, our pal Falsetto behind the lens. We got to give him some recognition tonight. <laughs> Without him, there would be no show. And uh, down the other end, Renaissance goes, and Renaissance starts to fell the other end. And Renaissance will go to the free throw line with 7:33 left in the first quarter. Palmer, number 10, drew the foul, picked up the uh, personal foul right there. So number 22, uh, Arvon, Arvin Gordon will shoot two. Makes the first. Crowd gets silent for the shot. One Gordon, for two. Gordon misses the second. Rebounded by Palmer, but then draws the foul near half court. So Palmer will take it out near their bench. For those of you just joining, I'd like to welcome you to Springfield Hoops on Focus Springfield Community Television. And number 22, Gordon Soros steals the ball and draws the foul right there. Couldn't get it above the rim, but he'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. Yeah, so Gordon, his second stint at the free throw line tonight. Ref goes to the sidelines. Gordon will miss or make the make the first one. Renaissance is coached by Dave Williams, assistant coached by Mike Bruce. And Gordon makes the second. And also Quinton Falcons. So Palmer takes it down the court here, passing inside number 10, he dribbles in, puts it up, and draws the foul, and no, pass is no good, but he draws the foul. And number 10 for Palmer will go to the line to shoot free throws. Say something real quick. This is the first. Gordon checks back into the ball game. Uh, Dakota Hart takes a seat for Renaissance. Number 10 for Palmer misses the free throw. This is the second free throw. It goes out of bounds. It'll be Renaissance ball. 25 for Renaissance. That'll be Jalen Bruce takes the ball up the court. This is number two for Renaissance. Back to Bruce. Bruce inside and number 22. That'll be Gordon. Gordon almost loses it there. Gets out to Bruce, to number two. Number two, Daniel Reyes takes the three and he makes it, got it. That was uh, number two, J.J. Algorin. J.J. Algorin with that three-point basket. Puts Renaissance up 8-2 in the early going. It's 6.45 remaining. A block by Renaissance puts them in, has the offensive possession. And down the other court, they miss. So if you Palmer down the other end, 
and uh, layup falls short, rebounded by the Red Sox. Back and forth they go now, and goes up no layup, no good. Still back and forth they go. They hustling up and down the court they go, and uh, Collins misses the uh, bucket. bucket. And throws it out of bounds. It will be Palmer's ball. Palmer down by six early, early on. Down by six, but they're certainly keeping up with the pace so far. Four drives in for Palmer, and uh, offensive foul looks like it's a call. over the scores table right now. We, uh, and it looks like a full crowd tonight. Yeah, full crowd indeed, Chris. You know, this is uh, this is good. This is great. Loud and proud. Coach Williams having a discussion with uh, the ref. So it comes Renaissance down the court. Number 11 for Renaissance takes the three and no good. That was Juan Rivera, who's nailed the game winner in the other night against Hampshire Regional to put them at 1-0 on the season. Here comes Palmer down the other end. Number one for Palmer shoots and he drains it in for two. So that puts Palmer down by four now with five and a half remaining in the first quarter. High school basketball, they play four quarters of four quarters of basketball, eight minutes in each quarter. That's how that's how high school rules work. That was Jalen Brooks with a floater. So Renaissance up by six now. As number one for Palmer misses the J. Rebounded by Renaissance. Here comes Bruce down the other end of the court, gets his pass stolen by number three. He just had number one at the perimeter and he draws, or no way he travels actually. So the ball will go in the hands of the Renaissance Phoenix. Number 11, this is number three on in the inbound. Number 15 for Renaissance. That's Jason, Jason no Winters. Good. Jason Winters takes three, no good. Palmer quickly down the other end and gets the. Uh, Looks like Rivera may have had a hand on that, blocking that ball. Yes, indeed. As Juan Rivera takes it up the court for Renaissance, gets in number 22, Gordon. Misses the J, rebounded by Palmer. Palmer down the other end. Palmer's going to take a three-year air ball. It's no good, rebounded by Gordon. Gordon takes it down. Passes it to number 11. Number three. To number 32, this is Dakota Horn. That's Dakota Horn. Horn. And no, that's no good, but it will stay Renaissance ball after the out of bounds miscue. Four twenty-two left in the first quarter. Renaissance up ten to four against the Palmer Panthers. As the ref is getting discussion from the scores table yet again here. For those of you just watching, we'd like to welcome you to Springfield Hoops. I'm Chris Stone alongside Nick O'Dell and our cameraman Falsetto. Falsetti, Falsetto, Falsetto, that's right. It's, I almost said, <laughs> you're not Italian, what am I thinking? Falsetto. So. <laughs> After the discussion, J.J. Algorin <laughs> will inbound the ball for a renaissance down their own end. Takes it out to Winters, to Gordon. Gordon's going to try the three and no good. Rebounded by Palmer. Palmer, number one, is going to take it out towards net midcourt, but he's going to draw the foul. Number three for renaissance, Daniel Reyes picks up the foul. Reyes will uh, sit down for a few minutes. Palmer inbounds the 
rebounds it. 24 has it near the uh, far sideline. Gets it inside to number 10, number 11. Back out to number uh, 24, and he airballs it. Great. Here comes Renaissance down the other end. Yeah. Gets him inside to the big man hard and no good on the uh, layup. Back, to, back down the other end for Palmer. Palmer shoots the three, that's no good. Rebounded by Renaissance. Here goes Renaissance quickly down the court. Gordon drives, but he's blocked. Gordon drives, but he's blocked indeed. And he'll go to the free throw line. So that's no good, but he draws a foul. He goes to the line to shoot two. 10-4 is our score here from Rebecca M. Johnson Middle School in favor of Renaissance. 3.36 to go left in the first quarter. Gordon 6'4", he's a forward and he's a junior for the Renaissance Phoenix. As the second free throw is no good. Almost stolen there, but Palmer regains the possession. Down to number 24, he's going to take the three and he's going to miss the three. Rebounded by Palmer yet again. Number three is going to take a three shot. That's no good. Rebound again by Palmer. Palmer's getting an offensive rebound to go here. As all three for Palmer. Shows his finesse and gets the bucket two for two. Underhands it in. So here comes Renaissance trying to answer. And Algren throws up a shot that's no good. Rebounded by Palmer. Palmer only down by four. Number four for Palmer. Lays it up, no good. good. Rebounded by Renaissance. And Renaissance takes the shot, that's no good. Rebounded by Palmer. Palmer number three. Inside number 11. 11 with the shot, that's no good. Rebounded by Winters. And Winters takes all the way down to number 11. What are you doing? 11 no good. Rebounded by Winters. Gordon, and Gordon takes it in for two. Renaissance up by six, with two minutes to go as Palmer tries for the three and misses. Rebounded initially by Palmer, but initially eventually stolen by Renaissance. Here comes Renaissance down the court. And puts up a shot, it's no good. Almost went out of bounds, rebounded by Palmer. 2.02 left in the opening quarter. 35 for Palmer has in your mid-court. It's all the way around to 24. Inside the number 11, back out to number 4. Number 4 drives in. Stolen by, stolen by Dakota Harn, the big man Harn. And all the way down the other end goes Renaissance. And Felipe, or Jason Winters, excuse me, gets it in for two. Winters finishes the job there. As a steal by Renaissance was made by the Winters after that bucket. He passes it inside to number 11, Rivera, and he gets fouled. Rivera, 5'10", he's a guard and he's a senior for the Phoenix. He'll go to the line and shoot two. 127 left in the first quarter. So Rivera will go to the line and shoot two. He missed the first. Rivera, as I mentioned before, had that game winner against Hampshire Regional the other night. Game winning buzzer beater at the uh, at the very end of the game to seal the win for Renaissance. And you know, and that's and that was their season opener the other night. So, well, Renaissance was what, 16 and 3 last year? 19 and 3. 19 and 3, I apologize. Yeah, you know, that's what I have, at least I have on my stat sheet. <laughs> yeah. As uh, Rivera attempts the second free throw and makes it. So the minute 27 left to go in this game, or in, or in this quarter, I should say. Renaissance is up 15 to six, and Renaissance showing full court press, and eventually steals the ball away from Palmer. Here comes number 11, that's Rivera for three. That's no good, rebounded by Renaissance, and Rivera puts up his own shot for two, and it goes in the bucket. Palmer makes a big mistake right there, going over and back. Timeout called by Palmer with 103 remaining in the first quarter. Our score from, from Rebecca M. Johnson Middle School, 17-6 Renaissance.
Stand by for watching Focus Springfield TV, Springfield Hoops. And here comes the Phoenix's uh, mascot. <laughs> Always a good sight. He's pumping up the crowd, even though they already are pumped up. So coming back from the timeout, it will be Palmer's ball, because they called the timeout. Both teams have both teams have four fouls in this uh, in this opening quarter. As, Re as excuse me, Renaissance will take the ball out after this timeout. Rivera has a near midcourt. Gets the 10 to one. Caldwell. Caldwell check, check, gets you guys first looks at the ball game. As Rivera has it near the uh, Pyle Palmer sideline. Gets it to well, Jaron Brooks. Back to Caldwell. Caldwell's gonna get it knocked out of bounds, but it'll be staying. Renaissance ball. Caldwell attacking the lane on that drive. Goes out of bounds. Luckily, they get the ball back. So Caldwell win down to Rivera. Back to Caldwell. To Rivera. Rivera inside the number 20. That'll be Juwan Collins. And Collins using his physicality. Get the bucket. Oh, no. They're going to wave it off. They're going to call it traveling on Collins. So... Big Collins, break, a big, a, a big break right there for Palmer. Palmer dribbling it up court. Twenty-four has it, top of the key. He's gonna take that three and he's gonna miss it. Rebounded by Palmer. Number one shoots and misses, but he will draw the foul. So it looks like Gordon got his hands on uh, Palmer. On that last Gordon shot. will pick up the personal. So right now, Renaissance has five team fouls as opposed to Palmer's four. First one's a miss. As uh, Rashid Wallace always said, the ball don't lie. Ball don't lie, right, Nick? Right. <laughs> as uh, Renaissance gets the rebound off the miss. And an offensive foul is going to be called on Renaissance here. Caldwell may have gotten his elbow in uh, the defender there. As, uh, as number 12 for Renaissance, Jerron Brooks get called for the offensive, so Palmer will have the ball, but Renaissance shows full court press. Let's see what happens here. 24 for Palmer brings it up. Stolen by Brooks, and Brooks can take it all the way to the hole here. He's going to miss the shot. Rebound. And that marks the end of the first quarter. With our score, Renaissance 17, Palmer 6. All right, welcome you back to... Springfield Hoops on Focus Springfield TV. I'm Nick O'Dell alongside Chris Stone. Here at, here at Rebecca M. Johnson, or middle school, I should say. Renaissance has a 17 to six lead over Palmer. Well, first quarter, uh, Palmer had its chances, but they just couldn't get the, they just couldn't uh, get it to fall in. Palmer will start, will start having possession here. 11 has it, back to 10. Down to number one for Palmer. Number three, number three will get it into the big play line. Number one will get it into the shot blocked by Gordon. Caldwell, Caldwell drives. Caldwell drives and he draws the foul. 
Caldwell's in disbelief right now. As Bruce will get inbound and knocked away, it will be, still be Phoenix Ball. Bruce gets it out to Gordon to Rivera back up. Bruce inside to Gordon. Gordon to Bruce. Jalen Bruce back to Gordon. Nice ball movement shown here by the Phoenix. Rivera's going to take the three and he's going to miss. Rebounded by Gordon. And oh, the Dakota, Dakota Harn finishes the job there. Finishes the job there. It's a nice ball movement there by Renaissance. That puts them up 19 6 here with 7 0 remaining in the half. Palmer's number three has it. To number 11. They guys are looking for an open field find number find finds 24. To number one. Number one is closely guarded by Bruce. Bruce Bruce still eventually is gonna take it. No, he's not gonna take it all the way. He's gonna Number one had the ball and didn't didn't get it in bounds, so it'll be Renaissance ball. Yeah, they gotta give a, an A for effort to Bruce with that steal. So Bruce will have it. Caldwell. Caldwell inside to the big fella Harn. Harn to number 22. Yeah, Gordon he takes the jumper and makes it. Gordon not afraid to use his size against the That's competition. Right, Gordon with another steal here. He's going to finish it up and in for two. So Gordon making an impact here with Oyan. Renaissance 23. Palmer 6. 23 6 Renaissance. Chris said. Palmer takes a few points out. That's no good. Rebound by Palmer. Palmer's number one has it. And stolen by Gordon. Here comes Caldwell down the other end with the ball. Out to Rivera. Rivera's going to drive it all the way up and in. No, it's going to be Miss it. Rebounded by Rivera again. But he's going to draw the foul. We're going to pick it up. Palmer would be happy if they got in double digits at this point. The wall, the substitutions here for Palmer, number 35 and number 4, check it back into the ball game for Palmer as number 11 and number 3 shit for Palmer. So Rivera about to attempt the second free throw. Losing their man here. Makes the second. 2 of 2 in that sequence. 24 to 6. Number 25 to 16. The Renaissance has a lead with 5.51 remaining. Palmer attempts the 3. Rims in now, rebounded by Caldwell, and uh, Caldwell gets tangled up down low. It will be Palmer. You see, Renaissance's possession as number 10 for Palmer picks up the personal foul. 17 fouls now for Palmer as the big fella to go to Harlan takes a seat. Your rebound, one one. Renaissance in control at this point, 19 point lead right now. And looking to add on to that lead. Caldwell will go to the line shooting out two free throws. 546 remaining in the half. Caldwell will make the Caldwell makes the first free throw and will attempt the second. Makes a second. 21 point lead for Renaissance as they're up big. As Palmer struggling to get it down the court. As number one is trapped. Gets it to number four. Who checked, recently checked in the ball game for the first time tonight. Go ahead, go ahead. Palmer has yet to score this quarter. Yeah, that's oh, right. And I jinx it. <laughs> as, that's uh, the rule. 35 makes it for two. 27 to eight. As Bruce has it to Rivera. Rivera's going to try to drive in, gets it back out. Marcel back out, gets it to Bruce, down to Gordon. To number 
to Jason Winters, and he misses the jumper rebounded by Palmer. He comes Palmer down the court in a rather in a hurry, and they draw the foul. Not sure if I like that call. May have got a finger on him, that's about it. Coach Bruce is coming for the Phoenix Renaissance. Phoenix number two, JJ Alden kicks back into the ball game as Jalen Bruce will take a seat. He's got a fantastic drive so far. Uh, he takes one step and he's by. All right, Jay, move your feet. Number one, so Palmer misses the second free throw down the court. Renaissance goes and Palmer draws the foul. Gets up the foul here. As number one for Palmer picks up his picks up the personal. That's 18 fouls for Palmer. As Palmer will go to the line for Renaissance, shooting two. Palmer will attempt the second, and that's no good. Palmer will inbound and Renaissance on the full court press here. As uh, Renaissance will be able to knock it out of bounds and still be Palmer ball. Algren gets a hand on it but pushes it out of bounds. Palmer gets another look. Go get up! Go get up! Palmer three has it. Still in the backcourt as Palmer is struggling to get it down the court. As Jason Winters picks up the personal. Number four for, for Palmer gets trying a shot at the one one on the He's gonna miss the first, so he miss out the rebound. Rivera has he's gonna drive all the way in and miss the layup. Rebounded by Winners on he misses the layup. He put that rebound by Palmer and they're down in the corner hurry. Comes Palmer down the court. The layup goes out of bounds. It'll be Renaissance ball. The Phoenix has it. On the two winners. Inside Caldwell. Caldwell will miss the layup. Renaissance got the rebound here. Here's Juan Rivera near the uh, Putnam sideline. Or, uh, the, uh, excuse me, the uh, Palmer sideline. And, uh, Three point shots, so you're rebounded by Palmer and they're down the court in a hurry. They're going to grab some more points. They're down big by 19. Rebound! Oh, 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 oh. Here comes Renaissance down the court in a hurry as they just missed the layout. They've got it by Palmer back and forth. They go now, both teams are. Come on, you guys, you guys, get out there! As number four to number 35 back to four. Ball goes. Let's see if they go at 24. Jang side of number 32. He misses the easy layup. Rebounded by the Phoenix. And Rivera's going to miss the initial layup. Gordon tries to uh, do several putbacks right there. But misses. It goes Palmer down the court. Palmer shoots the three. That's going to be rebounded by Palmer yet again. Palmer's Probably outdoing the uh, offensive rebound category, but still can't put anything back. Huh. Home run pass to Gordon, but uh, couldn't get the layup in. Gordon draws the foul here. That is Palmer's 19 foul. As Leon Charles checks check in the game for the first time tonight. Deion Charles, the 5'10 guard. 
team regard. As Gordon makes his second free throw. Puts him back up by 20. With 309 remaining in the half. Here comes Palmer down the court. Number 10 has it. To number 3, to number 24. Swing around to number 14. Back to number 14. Or 11, excuse me. 11 drives in and misses the layup. Rebounded by Gordon. Gordon's been all over the place so far in this first half. Moves the ball rather efficiently on this possession. As number three, that is Daniel Reyes, has it down the inside to Gordon. Gordon backs the defender down and he draws the foul. As Palmer's number 10 picks up the person. Gordon to the line shooting two. Gordon, he is tied with the, he is the, he's one of the tallest players on the team, 6'4". Yeah, and right behind, well, Dakota Harn is also 6'4", and then Tawana Caldwell is 6'3". Some big, big guys. Some, some big guys on this roster. 30-8 is our score, 227 remaining in the uh, first half. We have still here. The Renaissance is stolen right back by Palmer. Here comes number three. Palmer. This is out to 24 for the three. No good. As Gordon picks up the personal. Dakota Harn and Juan Rivera check back in the ball game here. As Gordon, you know, ready to take a seat. Gordon has done a fantastic job so far. Yeah. On both ends of the court. Yes. Those of you just joining, we'd like to welcome you to Springfield Hoops. I'm your announcer, Chris Stone, accompanied by Nick O'Dell and Jose Madero. Also known as Falsetto. Oh, <laughs> Gets inside the 32, battles number four, number four will take the three and he'll make the three. And that's the first time uh, Palmer gets in the double digits tonight. Comes, in, comes with 157 in the second quarter. Here's Winters for the three. That's no good. Rebounded by Palmer. This is uh, playing some minimum ball. Comes up with the steal, going to take it all the way to the house and make it in for two. Count it. That, as they, they are out now up by 21 points. 125 remaining in the first half as Palmer swings it around to number four and makes the three. Oh, they're two for two on their last three pointers. <laughs> as the lead is now down to 18 points. Favor of Renaissance. Dalen Bruce has it in the palm of bench. He's going to drive in a little bit. This is it to Juan Rivera. Rivera's going to cross over a little bit. Shoot to Jay. He's going to make the jumper from mid range. Great fadeaway jumper by Rivera. As lead is back, back up to 21 with 47 seconds left in the half. He's going to palm it down the other end. Number four has it. He's going to take a three and miss it. Rebounded by Renaissance. As Bruce comes over there and has a Hail Mary pass that's broken up by the backboard. Kept it in bounds. Kept it in bounds from Palmer to dribble, dribble it down the court, but a whistle here and a foul is called. I think it will be against Palmer, or excuse me, Renaissance. Shoot both free throws so you're missing the first. Number three for Palmer. 
makes both. Um, actually, I should say, it's one and two. Cuts the lead down to 20. 30.3 remaining in the half. Renaissance 35, Palmer to 15. 26.4 seconds left in the half. Didn't mean to cut you off, Nick. No, it's all right, Chris. <laughs> Thank you. Right here. Right here, guys. Both teams are at 10 fouls, 10 fouls. As we count down the end of the first half, 22 seconds remaining. We count it. 20 point lead for Renaissance. Hard's going to take this three point attempt and miss it. Why? Rebounded by Palmer. Palmer's going to do it down. Get it down in a hurry here at number 11. Mix it up and in for two as he's down down to 18. And that marks the end of the first half. And boy, we have. It's been all Renaissance here so far in this game. At halftime, our score. Renaissance is 35. Palmer 17 will be back with the second half. Right after this, you're watching Focus. You're watching Springfield Hoops on Focus Springfield TV. All right. All right, we are we are we are back here for the second half of the play. Between Renaissance and Palmer here at Rebecca Johnson Middle School. Springfield Hoops. On Focus Springfield TV, I'm Nick Odell alongside Chris Stone. That will be the third quarter action. Renaissance has a 34 17 lead at the break. And they will start off with the ball. Rivera. It's been all Renaissance the first half. Rivera to Caldwell and. Took, uh, saying it took uh, Palmer almost to uh, over just about two quarters to score ten points. Yeah. Oh, man. No, there is not 75 minutes left in the game. Just so you guys know, you guys see that up there? Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of a. Struggling to see how the scores here. We're going to get this all figured out soon. Seven fifty-five left in the third quarter. That yeah, looks more looks more like it. Yes. <laughs> As Caldwell has near the uh, Renaissance band, Tim Dua uh, Gordon. Gordon's from the difference maker in the first half. Hey, hey, uh, and uh, as he gets called three up and down, he'll be palm the ball. Going down the other way. Both teams switch sides to start the second, so Palm will go right to left. Renaissance will go left to right on your television screen. Correct. Renaissance in the red and white, Palmer in the black and blue. Renaissance comes up to steal here, but thrown right back by Palmer's number three. Number three will do in, and Renaissance gets it right back with the steal. Bruce has it. That's three turnovers in ten seconds. That's right. Bruce will miss the layout opportunity, rebound, and. As Jalen Bruce will pick up a personal foul, it'll be on the ball. Possession. Almost number 10 will drive it all the way down, but we'll lose control of it and we'll go to Renaissance. We'll kick it out of bounds. Caldwell inbounds. As yeah, substitution will be made here. Jaron Jer Brooks will check in the ball game. Still needs to take the seat. So Coach Williams for Renaissance will be his substitution early in the second half. Rivera has him in the uh, Renaissance bench as he draws the foul. Speaking. Number 12 for 
Pressure by Renaissance. Amazing pressure. Palmer struggling to get a half court. As Palmer, number 11 inside, gets no gun layup. Rebounded by Palmer Williams and rebounded by Renaissance. As Palmer will all the way down. As no fouls call in that play. Renaissance one on one. As Palmer has it down at the other end. Palmer's number four has it. It's on the shot that's no good. You got it by Gordon. Gordon to call the well, yes. Got the pass. Oh. That would have been the shot it. of the year. Yeah. Rivera loses it. And it's going to be Palmer's ball. 6 21 to go in the third quarter. 35-17 is a football score in favor of Renaissance. Certainly. Palmer's number three has it. Gets it to number 35. In, tries to get inside the number 11, but stolen by Caldwell. Caldwell will dribble it up the court now. Gets it to Gordon, who takes a shot. It's no good. Rebounded by Palmer, number four. And Gordon will draw the first one. It's already. Team fouls this uh, Palmer's number two will have it hit this court. And the fourth and Palmer takes the three. That's no good. He got it by Pablo. Pablo will drive it inside, kicks it out to. Number 11, Rivera. Rivera misses the mid range double, rebounded by Palmer. Palmer down the other end. He's <laughs> got to get the ball stuck up there. Someone get a stick up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> 35 will take care of that. 35 for Palmer. Took care of the stuck ball. And it's going to be Renaissance's ball with 535 remaining in the third quarter. 35 17 is going to lead. Rivera has it. Rivera to Algorin. Now gives him to dribble inside. And he's going to draw the foul. That's Palmer's personal. That's Palmer's third team foul as number three for Palmer will take a seat. Winters drives, he gets the deuce. Now puts Renaissance up, 37-17. 5-10 to go in the third quarter. Move your feet, Macho. As Palmer will have, will bring down the ball near their bench. Gets to number four, got the bounce pass. 35 will take a shot from Palmer. He will miss. Rebounded by Rivera, but stolen by number 11 for Palmer. Gets, somehow gets it out to number one for Palmer. And it's stolen by Jerron Bush. Right back at, right back with it is Palmer who lays it in for two. So it's 37 19 for four to remain in the third quarter. Rivera will take the three and he's going to make it. He's got it. Count it. 40 to 
the 19 is in the now 428 in the Palmer down the court in a hurry. Nearly Looking picked off by Caldwell. 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 Caldwell.
attempt here. Actually, to shoot one, and makes the complete three-point play. Down the other end goes to Phoenix. And down the end, there's a bucket in the pocket. Five Count it. 22, Arv Arvin Gordon. Gordon, strong finish there. Gets the rebound, put it, puts it back in. And now he'll try to make it and one, a three-point play here. Trying to answer their own three-point play here, trying to work, trying to complete it. He's at the free throw line. This is it, off the front end of the rim. Stolen by Renaissance as Rivera is going to put it up and in for two. Not much, not much defensive effort there by Palmer. Yeah, Palmer MIA on the defensive end. Palmer up and in for two. That is number 35. 45-27, Renaissance leads and Winners just buries the three. Renaissance just quick to answer. Quick to answer on Palmer's scoring, guys. 48 to 27 with, two, with two, 238 remaining in the third quarter as the ball goes out of bounds after the three point attempt by Palmer. And the one will inbound it for Palmer. And no defensive effort there from. Renaissance Palmer gets it up in for two. Palmer cuts it down to 19. Ooh, tries to do it all himself, but can't, couldn't connect. Rebounded by Palmer. Number 24 for Palmer has it. To number one. And number one for Palmer travels. The ball will go down the other end as Bruce checked back into the ball game. We'll take a seat. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Can make, was able to make the uh, easy layup. Now Renaissance has it. All the way down to Rivera on the other end. Rivera is able to attempt the good rebound by number 35 for Palmer. And Palmer draws the foul here. Jalen Bruce for Renaissance picks up the personal. Bruce will take a seat. Daniel Reyes will check back into the ball game. First time this half, I believe. Palmer will inbound in their offensive zone and throw it out of bounds. So Palmer just not feeling it today offensively, Chris. I mean, they had yeah, they plenty were never, of opportunities. Yeah, I mean, first quarter, they had plenty of good looks. They just couldn't. They just couldn't finish and add the turnovers into the mix. You're not going to win games that way. Yeah, as uh, it's have to trickle it out of bounds. Palmer's ball with a minute 24 remaining in the third quarter. 50 to 29 in favor of Renaissance. I'm Nick Odell, I'm Chris Stone. You're watching Springfield Hoops on folks Springfield TV. Thanks for joining us. As Palmer has it near the uh, key, the three point line. Number four for Palmer takes the three, he's going to drain it from downtown. Count it. Cuts the lead to 18 and. Uh, the three point answer is going to be hard and hard with the big put back. Gets the lead back up to 20 for Renaissance. 15 seconds left to go in the third. Palmer looking for answers right now. It's blocked by JJ Algorin. Rejected. Algorin with a big time block. Crowd likes that one. Station 21. Station 21. Yeah, no reset. 
problem with the shot clock here. They're just trying to fix it. Dang, this shot clock's really giving us some problems tonight. Yeah, shot clock and game clock both giving us problems tonight. We're gonna have to talk to Ryan Chisholm about that. <laughs> Shout out to Ryan Chisholm, who uh, works as a janitor here at Rebecca Johnson Middle School. Set us up. Got us some power for the cameras and a decent spot to uh, tape the game. Yes, all thanks to him, our, uh, our hookup here at Rebecca Johnson. And the Renaissance staff for, uh, yeah, and Rebecca Johnson. Yeah. Rebecca Johnson. Too. For those of you just joining, we'd like to welcome you to Springfield Hoops. I'm your announcer, Chris Stone, accompanied by Nick O'Dell. Actually, Nick, you're calling it. I'm, the <laughs> I'm accompanying you. Yes. So <laughs> and we got Jose behind the lens, too. Thank you, Jose. Falsetto. Falsetto, Jose, falsetto. Has a nice ring to it. Yes. And I was wrong, you are you do have a little Italian Italian in you, so. Alright, so <laughs> Palmer misses the three-point attempt. Palmer just looking for chunking up shots at this point. Yeah. Renaissance steals it. And that was Deion Charles dribbling down court, but he couldn't finish. Yeah, Deion Charles checking back in the ballgame recently. Lead up to 20. As Charles will go to the free throw line. Palmer draws the foul. That's their fourth team foul on in this half. Charles, he's 5'10", he's a junior, and he's, their, he's a renaissance guard. And it looks like, oh, never mind. So instead of shooting yeah. the two free throws, we're gonna bring it out of bounds here for the final 16 seconds. And Rivera. That was Charles, uh, Charles. Charles, yep. I think uh, uh, Palmer got a hand on Charles' hand there. And Charles will go to the line shooting two. This time he has no choice. Second, the rebound by Big Fella Hard. And Hard with the putback. Hard finishes hard. Three seconds left to go in the third quarter. Palmer's gonna just gonna chuck it up. And three point is no good. That marks the end of the third quarter. So after three quarters of play, our score here at Rebecca Johnson Middle School is Renaissance 55. Palmer 32. You're watching Springfield Hoops on Focus Springfield TV. We'll be back in the fourth quarter right after this. Stay tuned. All right, we're back here with the fourth quarter action here from Rebecca Johnson Middle School. Renaissance up 56-32. They missed to go in this ball game. I'm Nick O'Dell alongside Chris Stone. Rivera steals the ball. He's looking all the way up and in. Rivera all by himself. Another one. As Palmer just desperately looking for answers, I think they're pretty much out of this game. But Second turnover, and they're both by Rivera. Yeah. Oh, Rivera's feeling it now. 61-32 now. They're just blowing all over the ball right now. As, uh, number three will turn the ball to number 11. And Rivera again. Rivera will be all over. Start the second. Third Brooks. By Jerron Brooks. Time now, Paul. And their biggest lead of the game right now, up by 31. 7 7 to go in the game. Sold out crowd tonight. Yes. Sold out crowd is very small gymnasium, I should say. <laughs> One to know in league play too, so gives that gives a one only game was a conference game. So right now, is that their? Is this is their first home game, right? I believe or no? Yeah. No, no I don't think so. They had a home game. No wait. Fuck. 
We're not too sure. We're not too sure. We're not too sure. We're not too sure. Look at all these guys. But all we know is that they won their first game of the season over the game three. Juan Rivera's game winning buzzer beater at the very end of the game. He called in the 69 67 victory. Tonight, it's been all Renaissance and Ridiculous. Palmer rebounds it to start off this possession. Number one for Palmer has him in mid court. Trying to look for available people, <laughs> available, available players to be open, but the Giants done. He said Giants himself gets the bucket and the uh, foul, it looks like, yes. Palmer looking to make this a three point play here. Yeah, Palmer trying to. Uh, the three point play, as Chris mentioned. Makes the first. And 30 point ball game as number two, that would be J.J. Aldrin with the uh, layup up in for two. 32 point ball. Five, trying, trying to get the number one does, and number one Bink gets it up and in for two. Bringing basket to his Palmer and Renaissance as the ball will be in possession of Renaissance. 6.21 to go in this ball game. 30 point lead for Renaissance. Renaissance 65, Palmer 37. Oh, no, I'm sorry, now they just changed the score. Scoreboard a little late. Oh, as Daniel Reyes lays it up and in for two. Renaissance piling on points here on this, on this uh, Palmer team as another turnover for Palmer. That's the story of the game for Palmer. And Renaissance will have the ball. Inbounds it to Deion Charles. Charles. Back to Charles. Inside to Brooks. And Brooks out to Reyes. And Reyes with the three. That's no good. It's a long three. That couldn't go in. Rebound goes to the Renaissance. And Bruce misses the jumper. On the ball with 5.44 remaining in the game. 67-37, Renaissance has the lead here at Rebecca Johnson Middle School. I'm Nick O'Dell alongside Chris Stone. You're watching Springfield Hoops, Focus Springfield TV. Great to, have, great to have you with us. And Jose Medeiros behind the camera lens, of course. Palmer misses the free throw attempt. Over Renaissance possession and down the court they go in a hurry. Reyes to Charles inside to Brooks. Rattles it in for two. Lead up to 32 for Renaissance. Largest lead of the night for him. Looking for some sort of rhythm. They haven't done anything all night as they're going to call for travel here. Certainly no rhythm at all. Bruce will inbound it to Reyes. Reyes with a nice nifty move right there. Oh, wow. Great look. Great pass. Great save there by Collins. He checked in into the ball game. The Bruce inside the Collins. Collins. No foul called there as Renaissance continuing to get the offensive rebound, but Charles comes up short. Palmer with the lay in to make it a back to the 30 point ball game with 443 remaining in the game. Renaissance has it. That would be Charles with the ball right now. Bruce to Reyes. Reyes inside to. Brooks and Brooks will be called for a trap. Palmer will have it. Here's the ball. 
basketball before he all was on the floor. But stolen by Reyes. He comes Reyes back up the floor for the Renaissance and he leaves it. Puts it in between two players there. Neither of them could get possession of the ball. That was in between Brooks and Collins. As, as Felipe Amaro will check through the ball game, I believe, for the first time tonight. Yeah, the six foot forward, he's a senior for the Phoenix. And. Oh, and this is the lay in. Under four minutes to go in this ball game. That's also 30 point lead, 69 39. Is nice crossover move there by Bruce. Bruce has the ball back now. Trying to look for Amaro down low, but couldn't go. Instead, he brings it out to Charles. To Reyes, back to Charles. And Charles will try to, try to get inside of Collins, but broken up and go to call him the ball. Renaissance, Renaissance offense. This, this whole game has been lights out. Yeah, uh, Palmer not really having a chance at all in this game. Never came close to getting uh, close to uh, Renaissance score-wise. Yes. Closest they were was in the first, in the beginning of the first quarter. Yep. Is this the free throw attempt? As Felipe Amaro will have the ball near the far sideline. Reyes has it to Bruce. Goes back to Reyes. Nice ball to get thrown by Renaissance as Bruce. Will. This is the foul here. All the substitutions are made here. Number 32 for. Palmer checks into the ball game. Bruce has it. And Reyes tried to put the uh, Le Reyes. That's up and over. Rebounded by, again by Reyes. Up and over. Again rebounded by Reyes. And he picks it up. Collins he puts it up again for two. Seventy-one thirty-nine is the score here from Rebecca Johnson Middle School. Renaissance up on Palmer Big. A couple missed opportunities right there from both sides. As still fighting for the ball on the near sideline, as Palmer retains it. Palmer down and drives down low. Palmer's on the three, gets it up and in for two. Cuts the lead down to thirty. As we got a shaking up. Ball play on the floor with Daniel Reyes, who's a little bit, a little bit shaken up, but he's all right. He's going to play the, uh, play the rest of the game. Reyes will receive the pass from Bruce. And broken up by Palmer. Palmer's number three will drive it in and draws the foul as he was trying to go for the layup, but immediately rejected as by Amaro. Actually, that was uh, Deion Charles, number 21. Yeah, Deion Charles. He got his hands on it. Got his hands on it. So he would, he would pick up the personal and send home with number three to the free throw line. He misses the first free throw attempt. On the second free throw try, he's good. Total. 73 42 day lead. Uh, very much in control all of this ball game. On the inside. And gets it and throws it out of bounds with the Renaissance ball. Bruce will take it on the court. Gets the Reyes. 
minute and a half remaining in this game, and it looks like the other side's going to win 2-0 so far in this young season. So Renaissance will go to 2 0 on the year. 2 0 in conference on the play. Palmer will fall 0 1 overall, 0 1 in conference play. On the play, I should say. Persistence by Renaissance. They have a commanding lead. They're obviously going to win, but they're still going after the ball. Yep, and Palmer leads by 22. Palmer is trying to play their hearts out right now. That's Reyes. There's 11 seconds to go. 10. And he's going to round, round out the clock right now. Wait, wait for the last shot, maybe. Rebecca Johnson Middle School. Our final year tonight, Renaissance 73, Palmer 47, and Chris, this was all Renaissance from the get-go. Yeah, you know, they finished strong. The, the problem with Palmer is they had their looks in the beginning of the game, but uh, they couldn't finish. And then they had plenty of turnovers on top of that. So with that recipe, you're, you're, uh, you're not going to win a game. So it was all Renaissance, like you said, Nick. All right, our final score once again here from Rebecca Johnson Middle School. Renaissance 73, Palmer 47. Thank you for watching. Bring Springfield Hoops on Coach Springfield TV. See you next time. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>